For more than 160 years, St. Paul's Church has been a landmark and a center of spiritual life in Esquimalt, British Columbia. Originally built in 1866, the church was constructed in what is now HMC Dockyard in Esquimalt. The cornerstone was set by Admiral the Honorable John Denman, then Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Station. 1866 was also the year that the Crown Colonies of Vancouver Island and British Columbia were united. In 1903, the rector of the church had caused a complaint to the Navy about damage to the building by the gunnery practice from Signal Hill, so that in 1904, the church was dismantled, removed, and reconstructed at its present site, which is almost within view of its original location, about a half a mile away, in what is now the dockyard precinct. The organ was acquired in London in 1878, and it was carried out to Esquimalt by the Royal Navy. It was not uncommon in those days for a naval personnel to be unable to swim. Drowning incidents are recorded in the church in an alarming and tragic frequency. The other tragic note are the many wartime losses of naval ships often with so many crews killed that the names are not listed.
Over the altar, there are three windows depicting the childhood of Jesus. To the left is a commemorative window remembering Frederick Seymour, the governor and commander-in-chief who died on board HMS Sparrowhawk in 1869. Frederick Seymour was a colonial administrator who had been the governor of British Honduras. He served as the governor of British Columbia from 1864 to 1869. He succumbed to symptoms of acute alcoholism while on board HMS Sparrowhawk, and he was later buried in the Naval Cemetery in Esquimalt. The other window commemorates Commander Horace Douglas Lassels, who also died in 1869. Lassels obtained the coal rights at Nanaimo with Dr. Alfred Benson and with the coal pioneer Robert Dunsmuir, thus establishing coal mining in that region. Seven members of the crew of HMS Satellite formed a volunteer boats crew to render assistance to a shipwrecked crew in Dutch Harbor in the Aleutian Islands. They were themselves all drowned in the attempted assistance. Captain Frederick Trench the governor of Corinto in Nicaragua contracted a fever and died while en route to Victoria, sailing in HMS Royal Arthur. He was a distinguished naval officer who had served in the Sudan and in Burma before arriving in Central America. Wartime deaths always seem so needless, and the recorded death of Lieutenant William Maitland Dougal was more so. Born in Duncan, B.C., he was in the founding complement of the Royal Canadian Navy. He served in command of HM Submarine D-3 and was killed in action in an attack by friendly French fire when an airship mistakenly sank his vessel in the North Sea. Ironically, this was the only Royal Naval submarine to have been sunk by an aircraft in the First World War.